Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The Ukrainians, according to the Russian media outlets, tried to blow up again the Kirsch Bridge, the Crimean Bridge, with their drones, Navy drones, sea drones. Now, I don't know why the Ukrainians are um, saying that uh, the Russians claim we tried to, to do it, when actually it's clear who else uh, would have done it. So I have uh, three articles here. I have one from uh, the New Voice of Ukraine, from the Ukrainian side, and two from the Russian side. I will start with the Ukrainian one from the New Voice of Ukraine, and that is uh, right here. So New Voice of Ukraine, and you have this article right here that you don't see the title yet. I just want to show you that it's New Voice of Ukraine, and then look at the title. And here it says Legitimate Target. Russia claims another Ukrainian attempt to strike the Crimean bridge with drones. Now, my problem is with this, when I say legitimate target, they try to make it uh, legitimate, destroying a purely, I would say, civilian infrastructure. You can call it however you want, but still it's used, I mean, in, I would say, overwhelming uh, uh, majority of the time by civilians. Now, civilians, what kind of civilians are using this? There are some Russians and there are some people who are, how do you call it, um, uh, are going to be liberated by the guy who wants to destroy this legitimate target. So if someone, I don't know, your neighbor comes over temporarily, occupies some of your land and he builds over there, I don't know, a swimming pool. And then you bomb it uh, because you say, I'm going to liberate that area. You know, in the meantime, all your family is at the swimming pool. But you say, well, I'm going to liberate that area, so let's bomb the swimming pool. My family cannot uh, use the swimming pool because it was an illegitimate uh, construction, but it's a legitimate target. Will you benefit it? The people that you try to uh, liberate, which I don't think they want to be liberated by you, but anyway, liberate it, use that. Is that a bad thing? Is that construction itself bad? Well, it's war. They bring some military on that bridge. That bridge needs uh, to be attacked. Okay, I understand that logic, All right? So let's now go and see what the guys are saying in this little article here. It says that Russia claims another attempt to strike the Crimean bridge with drones. So why do you say they claim? Who else would do that? And then after three days, it says, yes, yes, we did it. Ooh, so much suspense. Ukraine attempted to attack the illegally built Crimean bridge, the illegally built swimming pool with his resources that I will liberate and I will take over. Because when or if I take over that, the, the Crimean Peninsula, what do you think? I'm not going to use the Crimean bridge. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? There's going to be a border border shack over there w wouldn't be something that uh, you weren't able to build in i don't know 20 years in 14 no in 24 years let's put it 24 years um this guy's built in what in seven years six years five years because when the russians took over crimea in 2014 right by a referendum um they built this in, what, in two years three years it was what three years ago was ready to, to, to be used. So this, the Russians did something that you were not able to do it from 1991 to 2014, since uh, th th it was in your possession. And you could have done that with the Russians. Why didn't you do that with the Russians? Anyway, just an observation. So it says here that Ukraine attempted to attack the illegally built Crimean bridge, which connects occupied Crimea to mainland Russia, which three with three maritime drones overnight on September 1 to 2, claimed Russia's defense ministry on Telegram on September 2nd. And I'm quoting, the Kiev regime attempted a terrorist strike on the Crimean bridge using a semi-submersible unmanned vessel at around 11.15 p.m. End quote, states the report, Russia claims a drone was destroyed in the Black Sea waters as well as another at 2.10 a.m. and one more at 2.20 a.m. Bridge traffic was suspended, reported a Russian telegram channel that co coverts traffic on the Crimean bridge. 
covers, covers, Jesus Christ, covers. And then we go to, um, let's see what that is. So here you have the um, map of Ukraine. This is where the war occurs. And here's the Crimean Peninsula. And we have the Kirsch Bridge right here. This is the Kirsch Bridge. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you follow this uh, uh, regularly or you, you know, are a little bit familiar with uh, geography, you understand, you know, where this is. But I, I show it to you just uh, because I can. So here it is. This is Kirsch Bridge between the Sea of Azov and the Black Sea. So this thing was built by the Russians after they took over Crimea. Uh, I think it's a good, a fantastic actually, engineering achievement, regardless who did it. Uh, the, I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. So let's go and see this little um, article coming from Russia today. Now we move to the Russians. And again, they say that uh, Ukrainian naval drones target Crimean bridge, Ministry of Defense. At least three, at least three hostile unmanned boats were detected and destroyed in the Black Sea, according to the Russian ministry. So these are the boats these guys are using right there. Very low profile, but it's still like a regular boat without a human being uh, using it, using it uh, with a remote control somewhere, correct? So multiple attempts, attacks, attempted attacks by Ukrainian maritime drones on a strategic bridge linking the eastern Crimean Peninsula to the Russian mainland was foiled on Friday evening and early Saturday morning, the Russian Defense Ministry claims. On September 1st, this is the same thing this guy said, and they were promptly de detected and destroyed. And the same communicated the uh, Ukrainians used. And they tell us what happened then and here and there. This is pictures from last time, uh, the drone attack. And we can go to this little article from Sputnik now, which is basically the same Russia towards Ukraine's drone boat attack on Crimean bridge downs UAV over Belgorod. That's a different thing. So this is how beautiful this bridge is. You like it or not, it's an engineering success. I understand the war you want to destroy. The Russians cannot bring their troops over there. But when they say it's uh, illegally built, okay, it's illegally built, but I, I don't know. I, I see the use of it uh, for the civilians. Okay, the military use it as well. It's not, I mean, let's be honest, but anyway, so the same as see what else these guys are telling us. Nothing... Um, Nothing else is the same piece of information here. They will try to destroy it and I think one day will uh, succeed somehow with a missile, with... Uh, and then what? We're gonna win the, the war with that? I don't think so. If they destroy that, that uh, bridge, do you think that Ukraine will win? I mean, will win a... Uh, no, that will would be considered a successful attack, obviously. But do you think the Ukrainians will win the war? And who would be the ones most affected? You know, the civilians. But hey, if they want, maybe they don't want to have any contact with the Russians. They want to, want to destroy it. So the Russians could never come back and uh, invade somehow over the bridge, the, the Crimean Peninsula. On the other hand, <clears throat> what if the uh, Ukrainians, as they claim, one time they claimed with the Georgians that they would meet somewhere on the river, I can't remember which one that was, uh, but if I try to look over it a little bit here, um, because they were talking, I covered it on, on, on a different video, and they were talking about uh, the Ukrainians, oh, we're going to meet on the river, I think this is the one by Krasnodar, right here. Let me just see if I can get there. They were talking, yeah, we're going to meet there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is one. I can't remember exactly what river they were talking about. But uh, no, I think it's right here, lower somewhere. But I don't want to talk smack here because I don't remember. But here is Georgia down here. I mean, it's, uh, it's Sochi where uh, Erdogan is going to meet Putin right here. But here is uh, South Ossetia up, um, down there, Abkhazia and so on. And then Georgia in this area. And they said they will meet on, I think, I don't know what kind of river they, they talked about. So that means the Ukrainians might have in mind, uh, you know, crossing over and taking over not only the Crimean Peninsula, but further. So that bridge will say, thank you very much for the swimming pool, my neighbor that I don't like. Thank you for building it for me. But hey, 
they have their own plans i'm just uh, looking over and saying well they're gonna destroy it that's what i'm saying they, they they will eventually succeed with a missile with something but they will not only one side but the whole thing that the russians will need years to repair it thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just